Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and in this video I'll be showing you how to do Wailing Caverns for your classic Dungeon Master achievement. It is located the middle-ish of the Northern Barrens, I think? I don't even know anymore. I think it's pretty sure it's Northern Barrens. I showed you on the map. Yeah, Northern Barrens. Okay. So, this is how you get into the dungeon. I sped this up just a little bit, so it's pretty straightforward. There is a map for this cave now. There used to not be, which, made, which for some reason made this a lot more confusing than it has to be. But, uh, it's pretty simple to get into the dungeon. You just follow this map, but I decided to show you anyway. But anyway, Wailing Caverns is, ooh, mid-20s mid to mid-30s, I think, dungeon. And it's quite, quite confusing. So, in doing this dungeon, I have now taught myself the way around Wailing Caverns, which is nice to know. So, in case I ever have to do it on a lower level, or in case I ever have to run a friend through it, or do some sort of farming for some reason... Uh, in Wailing Caverns, I now know how to get around. And by the way, I fall in the water here, so uh, don't do what I did. But the entrance to the dungeon is right over there. Right in front of me. But like I was saying, I now know my way around Wailing Caverns, which is nice. Because since I play this game so, so much, it's nice to know my way around places that I go to sometimes. But anyway, so you go in and you're going to follow... The, go to, I go to the left, you go to the right. This is one of those dungeons where you can pick whatever you want, which way you go first. But over here, right off the bat, Aunt Lady Anaconda, or whoever that was I just killed, is one of the four bosses you have to kill. And this turtle right here is Crush. He's an optional boss, so you don't have to kill him. I don't think I do in this video. But uh, as I was saying, there's four bosses you have to kill to unlock the last boss. So I go left just because I feel... I don't know. I... I go left first, but uh, you're going to go up this little ramp here, and you're going to try not to pull that much. And also, like like my other some of my other videos, Lord Pythus here, also one of the bosses, one of the four you have to kill. There's three on this side and one on the other side. Maybe that's why I went left first. But So there's three lords and one lady you have to kill, and so far I'm two out of four, and I'm about to get to the fourth, third one. But uh, like my other videos, I have sped this up a little bit, just enough so it doesn't take... I think the original video was like 12 minutes, so I kind of sped it up a bit. But uh, I also I also try to pull as little as possible, because I don't want the entire dungeon following me. And there's the third boss right there. So once you do that, you're going to jump down. And this is the entrance to that ramp you were just at, where Crush was. Where you walked in through Crush, at, the, at that rock right there. And you're just going to go back to the entrance, basically. But instead of going to the entrance, you're going to continue going forward to the other side to get the next boss. And so, back to what I was saying, though, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I try not to pull too much, or I try to make sure that nothing's following me because this is a big instance. I don't want there to be a whole bunch of stuff behind me and it's just a little bit annoying. So, uh, on the left there is another boss. I forget his name, I think it's Scum, spelled with a K, because he's baller. And so, again, you can kill him, you don't have to though. I didn't just because I'm showing you how to get to the the boss as quickly as possible, but this last boss over here, he you have to get pretty high up, so even when I was recording this, actually, I was going to get him, and I thought he was over here, I'm like, wait, what? I thought the boss was over here. So as you see, I'm turning around, I'm like, wait, where am I? And then I kill those lashers, and I'm like, oh, okay, right, I'm, I think I know where I'm going? I think I was still confused here, and then I eventually clued in that there's another floor that I have to go up. So this is quite a long dungeon. That's one of the longer dungeons that you'll have to do for your classic Dungeon Master achievement. But have no fear. Mike is here providing you a walkthrough for this dungeon showing you how easy it really is. For all my for all these walkthroughs that I've done for the classic Dungeon Master all I do is I'll go in I'll do the dungeon once so I know what I'm doing know where I'm going. Know if there's anything I have to know specifically on how to summon a boss or something like that. For example this last boss you have to kill four bosses to get him and then I'll the the second time in, I'll just go and do it. But this is the last boss right here, Lord Serpentees. So you kill him, and then right away you can just jump off the ledge here. There's two ledges. There's this one I jump onto first, and then there's the floor, which was where Crush was patrolling, which can lead you back to the start. Uh, if you don't have something that can reduce your fall, I highly recommend not jumping right to the ground. But anyway, once you kill that last boss, you're going to go right back to the start, and you might as well clear all these ads because they're going to have to die anyway. And you're going to talk to this guy over here. I forget his name. Uh, Muyo, I think it is. And he is going to do... He's like an NPC and you have to guide him around the, the, the instance real quick. So, he starts off and he runs down to the bottom here. And at the bottom of this hill, he's going to summon, or he's going to spawn three raptors that are coming and attack him. And then you just kill them. And then, I, I for the, in this video, I know what he already does. So that's why I go ahead and I kill stuff. But if you don't know, you can just follow him. 
Um, I kept my map open just in case he wanted to see what I was doing, but honestly at this point you just follow him and he'll take you right to the last boss. Uh, at this little thing he'll do a ritual and then he'll spawn three more serpents for you to kill and then you kill them. And now at this point I go ahead and clear everything that he's going to run into. Because if you don't clear these guys they will start attacking him and then you're just... If you're at the boss already you're going to be waiting for 30 minutes before he finally comes by. So I kill all these guys and then I hop into the boss room which is right over here at the top. And I cut out him, it took out like 30, 45 seconds for him to come, and then he's going to start spawning ads before he spawns the last boss, someone, the Devourer, I forget his first name. But uh, once you kill that Devourer guy, you're set, you got the achievement, congratulations. So, uh, at the end of this video, there is a end slate where you can click all the other classic dungeons for a walkthrough on how to do them for your classic Dungeon Master achievement. My name is Mike, Mutinous and Devourer, that's the name. Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe, have a terrific day, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!